Hello, 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 hello. I don't know what time you're picking this up, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's Lydia, and uh, I was just thinking, you know, some people might mean it well, some people we love, some people we don't even know. They come to tell us what we should be doing with our lives. And then I'm left wondering, <laughs> do they know what my calling is? Nope. Do they even really share the pain that I go through? Hmm. No. Do they even... Do they even know exactly what I'm going through? No. Do they know why I'm hustling? No, of course not. But the best they can say is, Oh, you're chasing after money. Oh, you're chasing after a good life. Oh, you're chasing after this. you be stressed. Oh, before you know it, you'll be in some kind of a coma and whatever. Ah, la, 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 blah, 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 all that stuff. I just went like, yeah. And to confirm that actually today, there was somebody who came in my house. I'm talking about somebody with millions and billions of money. And this is one thing he actually told me because I'm trying to make, I'm trying to work out something for him. So I invited him home. Then he actually goes, I don't understand why here in Denmark, people who are sick are actually sick with stress. I actually told, no, you go and relax at home. Take 90 days off from work. Don't do anything. Just lie down in your bed. This is what he said. I find it to be a little bit ridiculous because when somebody has stress, because they are thinking of something, why isolate them in a place where they won't even think about where they will only focus on the problem and the problem actually grows. So what I think these people should be doing is send them out, let them go work. Then I actually agreed with them. I said, I think it's because the game is small. That's why people get stressed. Of course, you can get stressed because you have a lot of paperwork and whatnot here, there, lining up everywhere. That's different. You can just lock your door, lock your office that day. I'm off today. I'm going to fix this. And until it's done, the office is not open for service. You get, then you take off that load. And when that load is off, that's it. It's not even stress. It's productivity. It's called productivity. Build up. That's just what it's called. But if you're stressed because, oh, I'm thinking, oh, you know, last time I saw somebody get almost get bashed by a car. Ah, I'm so traumatized. Then you go and lock yourself in a house. Like, seriously? What are you going to be seeing? A lot of people having accidents. Even your blankets will be having accidents around you. As in... It's not even a joke. I think you even be seeing things which are not there. So I'm just bringing this look. A lot of people might say, no, 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 no. You know what? You're doing this too fast. Oh, you're moving too, whatever. Just if you have earplugs, just put them there and just carry on with your shine. Because a lot of people want to steal, want to steal your shine. And they'll tell you, oh, you're shining too much. You know what? You're, you're too much in our faces. Well, then if I'm too much in your face and maybe I'm shining too much, Maybe you should get some sunglasses or maybe some blinds so that you actually don't see me when I'm coming. Because obviously you can see me. Or something bright you can always see it. So if somebody thinks you're too much in their face, you're shining too much, I just ask them, can you put your blinds on? Because then you won't be able to see me. <laughs> because anyway, if you don't do that which you are put on earth to do, you'll be judging yourself from inside. You won't feel good. You won't shine. So as long as you do what you want to do, shine and shine and shine. And those who can stand the shine, let them put blinds on. And those who can stand the shine, let them just shine with you. And that's the message that I actually had. And I think if somebody thinks you're in their face, just do it 10 more times. Let them get out of the way if they feel insecure. Because this world is full of negativity. We need to just pump it up, pump it up, pump it up with a lot of enthusiasm joy excitement and just everybody should just do what they are good at you know what i mean and i know some of you won't like this video but you know what no problem when you actually come to realize after 10 three years that actually what i was saying is good you can always come back and say oh she had a point and that's fine because i know there is a, there is one piece of sense that i've said in this video so be greatness and if somebody thinks you're in their way let them be fruitful and be greatness. Have a lovely day.